Pulled up. Dang. Yeah, we're, we're live. I'm eating the pizza. Because you got to stay fed while you're doing 12 hours of boom. What are we doing, Scott? Hold on, hold on. I'm still. We're doing 12 hours of boom. Doing. So I'm going to cover it because he's pulling up the comments so he can see the comments. All right, I'm going to keep filling time. I'm eating pizza. We're holding. It's not It's not populated. Well, it's that's all right. He can't get it populated. We don't necessarily need it. You can get it later. 12 hours of he was on seven. me because he said I wasn't ready. Now, who wasn't ready? We were having a lover's well, quarrel in the, in the break. Why don't you pull up the comments? <laughs> yeah, well, I got my phone. I'm checking Patreon. See, look at that. It's getting yeah. tense over here, Joanne. There it is. Right. Well, who is our guest? Wow, we got a lot of comments. We just got in here. All right. This is a good one. Last weekend good was... One. Last weekend was Canada's 150th anniversary. Woohoo! We are just off of that by a week, but mm -hmm. hopefully we can still celebrate with a true Canadian. Right. And we're also tasting JP Weiser's Woo! 150th, 150th, which is which was made for Canada's 150th anniversary. Boom. And with us is Whiskey Lassie. Woohoo! One of one of our favorite guests to have on, mm -hmm. and always excited, always, always rambunctious, always full of energy. While you're eating your pizza, I'm eating Canadian pizza. Do you want to see it? I do. We call it beer. Oh, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Already, see, you just got a thousand new fans. They're like, we love her. She said it's beer. <laughs> that was perfect. Mm -hmm. Now we've got our 12 hours of boom. I survived 12 hours of boom. If you, somebody wants one of these shirts, they can go on our site. Okay. Well, someone just pointed out we got on crazy what? hats. Yeah. What? We were going to look at, we wore these in early episodes. Right. And so we was going to look it up. We haven't had time. We are hopping from episode to episode. We mm -hmm. didn't have time to pull up to look. If someone wants to go back, there's no prize associated with it. Go back and look and see if you can find which episode it was we wore these hats right and the boys are wearing depends because they have a very short turnaround time turn around <laughs> that's right that's right we just if you if suddenly scott pauses and goes like this yeah and there you go now we do got a dog come here girl now well i'm also in here i'm trying to get the come tech on. going i'm hooking up the camera i'm hooking up the mic I'm emailing Whiskey Lassie. Remember, Bart. Oh, Whiskey Lassie was already on the show. Bart is holding. Bart is holding a giraffe in front of my face. <laughs> oh, look true. at this. Look, he's eating pizza and petting yeah, the dog. That's right. And that then he doesn't have. Combo. He didn't even have his glass ready. Oh, who needs a glass? He didn't have water. We had water right there. See, he's making stuff up now. It's like it's like watching a, a couple that are married at work. You ever see those people? The, oh, the couple that, the people that terrible. work together that are kind of like work couples. It's really bizarre. That's yes. us. That's right. One one gets up, and the other one goes. I don't know how he lives without me. Seriously, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't even be talking to people at this point. I know, right? Yeah. We'd, be eating, we'd be eating pizza and petting the dog in the corner. That's right. <laughs> with the, with the doctor. I got a sheen of sweat. Yeah, you're sweating. This, <laughs> yeah. Is, this is a hot hat. It must be a good pizza. That's that too. I put a bunch of peppers on, Joanne. Woo! So I it's a spicy pepper. 12 hours of food. Yeah, the water. It's a meat lovers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit, Joanne, about J.P. Weiser's 150th. Well, um, so what was interesting with Canada turning 150 this year in 2017, many of the Canadian distilleries came out with either interesting packaging to celebrate uh, the fact that Canada's history is 150 years old, which I'm going to say here, right here and right now, Canada may have turned 150, but the people that lived here before, quote unquote, Canadians, their history goes back like 10,000 years. And I want to just remind people that we should be celebrating them as well. Like Canada is Canada is 150 years old, but we as a nation or we as a, even North America for that matter, there were people here way before then. Anyways, that's just my little rant about that. Um, 
So, as I was saying, many of the distilleries came up with either special products to celebrate Canada's 150th, and J.P. Weiser's was one of them. And what he decided to do, Don Livermore, who's the mastermind and evil genius between behind all of the uh, the J.P. Weiser bottlings at the moment, um, well, decided well, real, that real quick. I know I, you know Don, and he actually tuned in when you was with us before. Yeah. And Mark, Mark Gillespie just had a, a phenomenal interview with him on Whiskey Cast last week. I know. Yes. A busy man, but he is a mad scientist and, and he's always coming up with these really fantastic ideas. So for him to celebrate Canada's 150 years, he decided to create a whiskey um, based on a special blend like he always does. But then he put out as many bottles as there were weeks for that 150 years. So if you can extrapolate how many weeks are in 150 years, that's how many bottles went out across Canada. And I'll give you an example. I have two bottles here that have a date on them. So the one that I'm actually drinking from um, says it's bottle 1,788. And it was, it come excuse me, <laughs> my appetizer, my pizza is a little. Um, mm, <laughs> that's um, some good pizza. It's some good pizza. <laughs> so it commemorates uh, September 30th, 1901. So I'm going to try to get that up close, really close so you can actually see it. Okay. Okay, so do you see the date? Yep. Okay, so I was lucky enough, again, because J.P. Weiser's is so good to me, um, for picking their, their number one whiskey last year. So as a gift, I actually got the whiskey that uh, celebrates my week of birth, November 7th, 1966. Very oh. nice. Yeah, so this one, this one I won't open for a little while, but I just thought that was really kind that they, that they took the time to fish out and find the bottle from my birth year. And uh, actually, I believe Don Livermore and I share the same week birthday possibly, but I think I'm a little bit older than he is, so. Mm. Well, and that was one thing on uh, on Mark Gillespie's on Whiskey Cast that he even mentioned was that he was sure people would be trying to search out their their birthday bottle, basically. Correct. Now, and I so uh, I know some of my friends across Canada are kind of like um, emailing or tweeting pictures of bottles that they have, let's say, in British Columbia, Columbia versus Nova Scotia versus Ontario, and they're trying to search out, like, okay, if anybody sees, you know, September 30th, 1997, let me know because that's the bottle I really want. So I'm not sure how many people have actually been successful finding their, their birth week um but it, it's become a challenge for people across canada to try to find their birth week which is really cool yeah very cool well let me yeah. say real quick our we got samples that were sent to us by tony sperling and thank you tony for sending those to us thank you tony um his bottle was number 1364 uh commemorate commemorating the week of august 21st 1893. wow wow very cool. that's pretty cool so, um, so I'm going to, you guys keep talking. I'm going to go get something that I think is really important to stress the age of my country. Okay. Ch chat amongst yourselves. I'll be right Bart, back. I don't know. Bart, go get some more pizza. And I'll go get some more pizza. Bart's <laughs> That's right. We will talk now. What would your birth year be? 1970. Right. What month? February. Do you know the week? Got to start on the Sunday would be the deal. That would be hard. Well, yeah, that's true. Well, right. you'd be within a seven-day range. Is that how they range. do it? Right. You'd be within a seven-day Mine would range. be 70 July and then yeah. the 20th-ish. Okay, I'm back. He's back. So now something I, else. Oh, sorry. I'll just no, quickly mention this because I think it's super important. So another thing that was really wonderful about turning 150 this year was one of our whiskey shows in Toronto. Um, the lady who actually is one of the founders and co-organizers um, managed to dig down into her own um, collection of Canadian whiskey as well as have a few other people donate a couple of bottles of whiskey and what we wanted to do is actually take a walk through Canadian history with whiskeys like that were as old as we could find them and so we actually Graham my partner Graham McKenney and I um, poured a whiskey that was distilled in 1878 what? Wow yeah, and I still have like just a little bit. Well, I'm gonna try to do this. Just a little bit left. 
right there. So it was wow. a 25 year old whiskey um, from 1878. It is the oldest Canadian whiskey that's ever been opened and actually imbibed, drank that we know of. And uh, we, we kind of got a message from Davin de Kigormo, who's, of course, the Canadian whiskey expert, who said he doesn't have, like, actual written proof that it was the oldest whiskey ever opened, but that he's pretty sure that's the oldest bottle of whiskey, Canadian whiskey, um, that's ever been opened. It's prior to the laws of, of aging whiskey, you know, two to three years, or which Canada, by the way, was the first country to come up with those rules that whiskey had to be aged a certain amount of time before they could sell it, so... Wow. I know. We're a pretty cool country. Very cool. Yeah. Now, I do remember uh, Mark Gillespie or Don Livermore at the time on the interview saying this this one is 16 years old. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, what else do you know about it? What else can you tell us about this? What else can I tell you about it? Um, <laughs> well, it is a blend like he does, like he often does. I, I don't know the actual like recipe for it. Okay. Um, other than it's a mixture likely of corn, maybe a little bit of barley and, and a little bit of, of uh, wheat or rye possibly. Um, on the nose, I would say it's, it's quite sweet. So it, it might be, you know, easy to say that it's quite what I would consider corn forward because it's sweet. It's not a bourbon by any means, but it's, it's definitely sweet, especially if I were to let me see. I've got the Wisers 18 behind me here. I got all my Wisers behind me here, <laughs> as well as some of the other Canadian whiskeys. Whoop. Yeah, it's sweeter than the 18. So that's Wisers 18. Nice. So this one's two years older than the one we're we're imbibing right now. Um, and I was just going to show you quickly. I mean, I literally do have Canadian whiskey from coast to coast, so I have. You know, whiskey that's made in British Columbia. It's called Shelter Point. Nice little single malt. And, and I have some from the prairies. So, of course, Century 21 is from the prairies. Wow. And then Wiser's is from Ontario. Canadian Club 20-year-old. That's a beautiful, beautiful Canadian whiskey if you can ever get your hands on it. Or maybe I'll send you guys a sample. Um, this is fantastic. Where's that? And, of course, you know my... You know, my lovely stock and barrel. Stock and barrel, great. Yeah. And then probably one of my best finds for 2017 so far. This one called Caldera Alhambra. Ooh, I like that. This one is a sherry bomb, which is rare in Canadian whiskey. Um, and actually, Graham is very, very humble, but Graham actually helped name this whiskey. He did the research on the vessel that it's named after. It was actually, uh, um, I don't know what kind, I think it was a frigate, possibly. Mm. Graham, are you here? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I heard him. And then he magically appears. Uh, mm. The Alhambra. Yeah. What kind of boat was it? Uh, a bark, I believe. A bark? Woof, woof, it's a bark. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, Graham helped name this particular whiskey. And you can see I've already drank like three quarters of the bottle. That looks good. Cherry Bomb. Beautiful, beautiful. This is one of my best discoveries so far. Really? Yeah. And there's Gibson's. I mean, one third of our collection is pretty much Canadian whiskey at this point. Well, and so. for good for good reason. Oh, yeah. Because we have good whiskey. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Are you done your pizza? I'm done mine. I have. What do you have there? You describe. Well, there you go. You're going in for your yeah. taste. Mm-hmm. That is really nice. Um, almost a sweet caramel with like a, yep. a nice peppery finish. I mean, that's like a caramel glaze, just like, mm -hmm. you'd, like you'd lick off of a cheesecake with maybe a little, a cheesecake with caramel glaze on it and some cinnamon sprinkled on top of it. Yes, I agree. That is just beautiful. Mm. Very rich. Very good. Yeah. Rich is, is actually a very good uh, descriptor. 
because it's almost got like that creamy butterscotch kind of flavor, which which gives you that really rich mouthfeel, which is really nice. All right. What's the ABV again? This one is 43.4%. Okay. It's very good neat. Um, oh, my gosh, yeah. I'm going to try it with a little water, but it doesn't need it. No. You're right. It's got – it's almost that, that – uh, Caramel that comes kind of from a flan. I'm yes. serious. Because yes. a flan, a flan has that custard type flavor wrapped in with that kind of burnt sugar caramel flavor. Yes. That is the perfect descriptor. Except here in Canada, of course, we pronounce it a flan. A flan. <laughs> a flan. Not a flan. <laughs> a flan. A flan. I'm a boot to call it a flan. Flan. Do you guys say scallops or scallops? I say scallops. Scallops. Yeah. We what say you scallops. Say? You say scallops. But we're from uh, the Atlantic coast, so we say scallops. Scallops. Scall. Scott Monroe says hi, Joanne, and he enjoyed sharing all of the top drams with you last year at the Whiskey Festival. Ooh. Sweet. Scott Monroe is an adopted Canadian, <laughs> and uh, we love, love him to death. He's a big Blue Jays fan. And uh, he, I think he stays up to like three or four o'clock in the morning, Glasgow time, to actually watch Canadian hockey or, or Canadian sports. And uh, I know he's tried a couple of Canadian whiskeys. We've had some great conversations about Canadian whiskeys. He's, he's definitely, we've adopted him. I've told him he can come over and live with me anytime. Beautiful. Now he's kind of he nice followed guy. us, or he he jumped in with us early, early. on Twitter. Yeah, I know. and and watching our YouTube videos as well. Mm -hmm. I, he's from New York, though, or, or at least he comes back once in a while to New York. He, he's definitely got. He's definitely Glaswegian. 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 He's Glaswegian. When okay. he speaks, he's he's definitely not got a New York accent. <laughs> he he speaks a Glaswegian. That's a, really bad, that's a really bad Glaswegian. But, that was good though. <laughs> yeah, the first time the first time I went to Glasgow, we went to this really crazy little bar called the Universal Pub, and it's where all that all the locals hang out. They all sounded like they were talking with marbles in their mouth. It was just like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. Couldn't understand anything. We're letting the dog out. Yeah, because he's he's Scottish, isn't he? From Glasgow. Okay. Yep. He, yeah. said, yeah, he just commented he's from Scotland. He's just been to New York on a holiday. There you go. Yeah, I thought he was. Correct. Yeah, because he keeps saying that uh, when we come over, that uh, we got to look him up. We got to see him. He he needs to take you to one of my favorite pubs in Glasgow. And actually, it's a lot of people's favorite pubs because the guy who runs the pub, Paul McDonough is his name. Um, it's called the Bon Accord. And when you walk into the Bon Accord, I mean, I've been I've been there now for probably about six or seven years. And when I walk in, Paul looks at me and says, welcome home. Oh. And that's an amazing feeling. Um, so if you get to know the owner of the pub or if you get to know the patrons of the pub or if you get to know the other people that are Whiskey Fabric in Glasgow, like Neil McKinnon, Scott Monroe, Julie Hamilton. I mean, I could go on and on and on of all the people that live in the Glasgow area. Um, that's the hangout. That's the place that we love to go is the Bon Accord pub. Um, Paul McDonough comes to Canada on a regular basis. So he actually has Canadian whiskeys behind the bar, which is awesome. And you know, you do, you just, you feel like you're part, it's another one of those wonderful parts of the whiskey fabric. So if you go to Glasgow, you definitely have to go to the Bon Accord and meet up with whiskey fabric in Glasgow. Amazing. I guarantee we'll do that. Oh yes. Oh yes. Awesome. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Mm. So this is really nice. I absolutely love this as far as, um, again, you know, it's a I would almost, I would almost say, I mean, blind, I might say this was a scotch. I'm just saying, I think if, really? it, yeah, if there's corn in there, there's not very much or it's hiding the, the bourbon relation. Well, I mean, like it, it's it, sweet, but it's not corn sweet. That's what I'm right. saying. So it's, it, it's really, um, it's coming off more as just a, I mean, you know, like a scotch that has not been, uh, you know, wine influenced, um, heavy on the vanilla and the caramel notes, the maltiness yeah. or the grassiness. Maybe like an ex-bourbon cask. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to go and actually compare it, which could take about two or three hours of <laughs> research. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
definitely. Ooh. That's delicious. Now, what? It is. Um, I really like it. Behind you, JP Weiser's. I know we've also recently they had the dissertation yes. release. Do you have yes. that one? I do. What else have they done recently? So they have two more releases coming for uh, 2017, and they're specific to helping celebrate Canada's 150th anniversary. They'll be coming in the fall, so I think like maybe late September or beginning of October. And one is a J.P. Weiser's 35-year-old, which is really, I don't want to say unheard of, because some of the other distilleries are also releasing older whiskeys, but it's not common in Canada to have like age statement whiskeys, especially that are older than 20 to 25 years old. Um, I think the oldest I had ever tasted before, I'm trying to think which one that I just tried, it was a Rockies, Rockies 35 year old, I think. I think the oldest Canadian whiskey I know Davin knows for sure because he tweeted about it with regards to a Crown Royal that he either tasted or that he saw that was maybe 50 years old. And I could be wrong on that completely, wow. so don't quote me. No, I think um, I remember something recently about a 50-year-old Canadian whiskey that was yes. getting Yes, but up. it's like it's not available to the public and it does exist, but you can't buy it. So J.P. Weiser's will have a 35-year-old on the market this fall for, for fairly – a very affordable price for a 35 year old whiskey. And then Canadian club is releasing a 40 year old wow. not long after that. Um, so it's, it's, you know, again, older, older whiskeys that you wouldn't have seen before um, on the Canadian market. It's just not a common occurrence to have whiskeys that old available for sale. Um, and I believe the other one that Dawn is coming out with is a, I have to stop and think about that one. I don't think, I can't remember if it's a lot 40. No, it's not. It's a Pike Creek and it's a Pike Creek age statement. So it's an older Pike. I Creek. think it was a 21 year, 21, that sounds, or 21 or 23 or maybe even 25 year old. Pike yeah, Creek, I remember. That, that sounds familiar as well. So likely that's another one that'll be coming out in the fall to, to, just part of the the you know the rollout for the rest of the whiskeys for Canada's 150th anniversary. So now is the lot 40 cask strength or barrel strength out yet in Canada? Uh, that's a good question. I I know I was lucky enough to actually taste it before uh, before it even left the warehouse. I was just visiting Windsor a couple of years ago and. And uh, Don brought me out to the warehouses and said, here, you know, didn't tell me what was coming out of the barrel. Just put some in a glass and said, what do you think of that? And it was just like, oh, my God, this is <laughs> heaven in a glass, right? And he was like, well, that's the lot 40 at cast strength. And my mouth just wow. dropped open. It was like, you've got to you've got to put this on the market. And so um, I, I'm pretty sure it's coming to market. I'm just not 100 percent sure when hmm. because he introduced it. Okay. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, Graham. Yeah. Bye, baby. <laughs> I thought you were done with the show. You're like, Bye, I'm baby. done. Bye, babies. <laughs> I'm out. See you, babies. I got to go get some more pizza. I got to get some Canadian pizza. <laughs> no, he's, he's off to walk the dog so that I don't have to remember to bring him in from outside from barking. That was a classic New Year's show. Oh, please. <laughs> That'll be in our hit parade of all times. I'll never live that one down. Oh, that was great. Graham yeah. reaching up to satellites to text us or tweet us, telling her, tell her to bring in the dog. Tell my wife <laughs> that the friggin' dog is barking. <laughs> we weren't shammered at all. I don't know what they're talking about. Did we bring up that we are back in the in your kitchen? Have we, did we uh, do we say that at first? I think we did. That this is uh, we've been moving around a live show from set to set, kind of displaying all the places we've been. Yes. And uh, you know what? Um, I think this mic is doing great. I, I don't know. Are you picking up a lot of echo on your end? Not at all. Good. We usually use a boom mic. Um, we had a couple comments right off the bat that the audio was real good. Awesome. Oh, good. Yeah. Wow, that just defeated because, yeah, we used to get a lot of echo in this room, and, and we just kind of suffered with it. And that was one of the nice things when we went down to the bar. We uh, Because of the carpet and everything and, and uh, the shelving, we didn't have as much echo. So it's nice that, uh, that this mic's handling that well. 
Cool. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. Have you, uh, did you have a chance, and I know you've probably been super busy, have you caught any other of the live shows we've done today? Oh, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. I watched uh, Whiskey in the Six, and yeah. I watched Aquavita. Yes. Oh, Aqu Roy. Aquavita. Yeah, I can't say it. Aquavita. How about yep. Roy's beard? Not Roy's beard. Whiskey in the Six's beard. Roy didn't Whiskey. have a beard. No, Whiskey in the Six. You know, I don't know why I thought he was Canadian, but then I started, like, when I started to watch and just kind of, that's not who I think it is at all. Like, I was like, no, that's that's not he him. He's Canadian. Though. Yeah, he is. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. In, I he's thought in, so. He's in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I didn't think, a, I, thought, I thought for a quick second I was crazy and then thought, no, no I'm pretty sure no, he's No, you're Canadian. right on. Yeah, he's a teacher and uh, yeah. Yeah, he's got okay, a, so I think he dyes I, his beard. I, I hadn't had too much Canadian pizza at that point. So that's oh, good. Very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> well, and, and someone, watched... someone commented earlier about uh, you being back on. And what we did is we, we do have a couple of returning guests, you right. and Whiskey in the Six. Right. Uh, Bubba and the Beard is coming up later. Right. Mark Bubba. Gillespie. Yes. Mark Gillespie. Yeah. Who yeah. uh, you got to have Mark on. Yeah. Mark's oh my God. coming on later. <laughs> yeah. How could you not? Right. <laughs> And, you know, we got a couple of new people on. We had the liquor store owner, and we got a couple right. of shows by ourselves. Roy's so. never been on. Aquavite has no, never been on. No. 12 hours. Yeah. Filled up pretty right. quick. Well, we wanted to have a mix. Yeah, we wanted to have uh, a Yes. Right. Yeah, he's brand new. I'm paying attention. You're awesome. Yeah, Thomas. So we wanted but to have a mixture of folks. Next year, we're already working on 24 hours. Ooh, I don't know about oh, that. Oh, boy. And then 36 that. hours. Oh, my God. It's like well, a marathon. Wow. I have to have people take over. I, you know what I picture seeing is more like something like this, like you know, as you as you get to hour twenty four, it'd be like, yeah. hi, yeah, we're still here. Yeah, we'll have we're a we'll, we'll 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 be pulling each other's hair at some point in time, whatever's <laughs> left. I told you to set up the new camera. I gotta That's tell right. you, though, I I think you if we do it. Got pepperoni on your on yeah, your. What are you doing? Head, you moron. What are you doing the show. My goodness, be professional. <laughs> Why are you making me wear a Thomas the Train Nick cap when it's That's 100 right. degrees outside? What's that smell? The dog farted. The dog's <laughs> not even here. Yes. Yeah, blame it on the dog. <laughs> the best reason to Those are two pillows. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Uh, so you just completed um, the C3, 3C, cross Canadian cross country. Yes, really? it, uh, Canada C3, Canada coast to coast to coast is what it was called. Yeah. Oh my God, boys, you know, that was um, a life altering 10 days. Um, I think you both know how proud I am to be Canadian. Yes. But from here on in, I will forever identify as a non-Indigenous Canadian based on the things that I learned because it was just absolutely amazing. There were 5,000 people that applied for the journey in one form or another. So there were visual artists, there were musicians, there were ex-Olympians and current Olympians, there were um, what they call leg experts, there were also youth ambassadors, and then there were people like myself, regu regular Canadians. Um, and my understanding is there's only about 50 quote unquote regular Canadians who actually were chosen to do this trip. So I consider wow. myself like super blessed and so fortunate and thank you so much Jeff Green I know he's not watching because he knows nothing about whiskey but um, my god what an experience it was just phenomenal it really was now uh, I know you you kind of with a big group you toured all around Canada right uh, so what they did is they they did it's it's to celebrate Canada's 150th birthday but it's to also prepare us and to try to make the next 150 years better. That's all there is to it. You know, it, it has four pillars, diversity and inclusion, um, the environment, uh, youth, youth engagement, because I mean, if we don't have tomorrow's people on board, then literally we're, we're all screwed. I mean, that's all there is to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the last one, which I think is probably the most important is truth and, re truth and reconciliation, which is understanding accepting what we've done to to the Aboriginal population here in Canada over the last 150 years. There's no way we'll never, ever, ever be able to erase it, but 
now we're on our way to 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 really a say for me it was easy to realize how and this is a terrible way to put it but it was like i'm nothing i was nothing more than a white ignorant privileged canadian like once you realize the truth in what happened it really opens your eyes right and it just changes the way you see everything which again for me that was super super important i'm sorry what the hell was the question just about this you're about right the what the yeah. c3 coast, yeah. to coast, oh. to coast and how that yeah. was so, all, I, love your way, I love how you exited that sentence <laughs> that was i don't remember the question yeah <laughs> Canadian you hit it. Is really good. You're like, you I hit been, it all. Was I just yeah, you talking? hit it all. I'm sorry. What the <laughs> hell was the question? <laughs> Bring in the dog. Who farted? <laughs> Who farted in there? Is the dog in there? <laughs> no, that was oh, it's awful warm in here all of a sudden. Woo. Oh, it's, yeah. Woo. What? Anyway. What are you looking for? We got a giveaway to do. Yeah, Sharpie. Yes, right. What? what are we giving away? Well, the first one is going to be for anybody watching live right now. They're going to have a shot. So so we've been doing some trivia questions. We've been doing okay. some different things. Um, Coin 306, by the way. 306. We're and signing it. Right 307. Now. Okay. Oh, let me sign yours. Yes. One will be to our this. Patreon supporters, and one goes to the people that are watching. So the first jo one is the live. Joanne, do you have a uh, trivia question you would want to ask somebody? Maybe it's something we've covered in the video. Maybe something about J.P. Weiser's or Canada. Sure. All right. And then if you can throw it out, as long as you have the answer, we'll be watching the comments. So let me think. And it's gonna have to be something we know. Well, that's getting tricky. So we, I mean, so we, or you know, I can go through the comments as they're coming in. Who is the master distiller at JP Weiser's? Get ready. Good question. Watch. He's watching now. That is a great question. That will be, be for coin three oh seven. There you okay, go. Okay. Perfect. They're flying in right now. So those comments. Nobody's. I know that one, and no one's gotten it yet. Okay, he knows it. We've said his name like. 12 times. That's oh my God. It. That's well, it good. takes whiskey in the six. Got it. Whoa. Oh. See the Canadian. Fixed. 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 It's rigged. Fixed. Canadian Don, on Canadian. Don Livermore. Correct. Hey. So, right. so whiskey in the six will get coin 307 autographed or uh, initialed by us. From Do the you show. have a Ziploc bag? Because I'm uh, on track. They are down. Let me grab it right now. Keep going. Good idea. Well, we've got to do the next one is. We're gonna do it. Oh, you got them right there. Yep. Oh, you got your Wait. phone shut down. Nope, I'm gonna get it. Yep. So here, tag that. For whiskey in the six. Whiskey in the six. In the six. Because next, I gotta see. I saw an, another Patreon supporter, I believe, came in. Because this, the I second one, we're whiskey in the six. Oh yeah, the second one we're doing is just for Patreon supporters. Okay. Um, we we only Maybe. have we're checking we only have thirty four I believe 34. although I'm updating we're at okay. thirty four so okay. if you want a great chance to win and you don't have to be watching live because we're just going to do a random number from one to thirty four I'm going to have Siri do it Siri pick a number between one and thirty four maybe you're still on Patreon. Uh, Siri, pick a random number between 1 and 34. Siri's had too much pizza. The answer is 28. 28. 28. Whoopee! That's a new one, too, from you. Yep, we might have already one. drew a 28. I don't think we drew a 28. I think she was enjoying Canadian pizza. Ah. So, 28. All right. If so, good. we will have to check later. If we get a we duplicate on Patreon. Yeah, maybe. But we'll, yeah, we maybe we'll redo it. Maybe we're doing we'll so see. good. There's only 12 shows, so. I mean, we still got about 10 minutes, so we've got uh, ahead there a little bit. We did. Oh, we're boy. doing good. We've done So we've done J.P. Weiser's 150th. We talked. Uh, what did you do, Joanne, for the 150th anniversary? I, so being as silly as I am, there was a, a gentleman, a young gentleman on the Canada C3 voyage on my leg, which is a 10-day leg from Toronto to Montreal, um, who was from British Columbia. His name was Shazad. Wow. Loved his name. And he had never been to the East Coast. So when he got off uh, on leg four in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, if, if you want to Google it, it's like the smallest province in Canada. The entire province probably fits in someone's hometown. Um, 
and and he was spending three or four days in in Charlottetown just on his own. He didn't have to fly back out. So I drove to Charlottetown, volunteered to help turn over the boat for the next leg, and then threw him in the back of my car, and uh, we drove three provinces. So we visited PEI, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia in like 72 hours. And I brought him on the South Shore, Nova Scotia, to a friend's house, and we celebrated Canada Day evening in a traditional maritime kitchen party, so a Kaylee. So music, a lot of drinking, a lot well, of It's called a Kaylee? Kaylee. Wow. Yeah, kitchen Kaylee. A kitchen Kaylee, and there's a lot yeah. of drinking involved. A lot of drinking, a lot of music, a lot of drinking, a lot of bad singing. Oh, cool. Um, a lot of bad jokes. Like karaoke. <laughs> Do you want to hear one of the jokes? Yeah. Well, uh, is, it, does, is there cursing? Do I need to put my finger on the abort button? Right. Abort. Abort. Go well, for it. Well, it's not. It's not politically correct, but there's no swearing. Okay. Do it. Let's just call it, and we'll ask forgiveness later. Yes. Right. He's giving me a look. Canadian who was drinking Canadian. I mean, eating Canadian pizza. Right. So, what starts with the letter M? Ends in arage, and it's a man's favorite word. Sounds like marriage, but it can't well, be. Well, no, it's got to be, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not marriage. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? Are you ready? Yes. Miscarriage. And like oh! the joke. Wait, wait. And the punchline is actually, and like the joke, the baby never gets old. Oh, <laughs> Lord that sounds like a uh, right from the office. Like wow. you know, that's what she said right after. Oh wow, yeah, those were the types of jokes that were being told on Canada Day. So well, there you go, <laughs> raunchy bunch. Wow. Yeah, hey, we got uh, we've had great support today. Kind of something we didn't even plan. A lot of people jumping on Patreon to support us. We appreciate that, and to get free stuff. Yay. Yeah, Probably. yeah, and have a better chance of winning stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we know we've We're had there. we've had some donations coming in. True. We greatly appreciate it. Maybe next year we turn this into like the telethon, you know. And I don't know if that'd be as fun though. Year. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. Know. It's too but, much. Uh, we've had some come in. If anybody wants to make a small donation, we'd greatly appreciate it. Scotch Test Dummies at Gmail dot com is PayPal our PayPal address. Sure. So cool. we'll, uh, we'll, buy, we'll buy Canadian pizza with it. Canadian pizza. <laughs> our, uh, yes, our 12 hours of boom shirts are available at scotchtestdummies.com. Now these nice. are limited. This is, I survived the 12 hours of boom and they may only be up in the uh, store part of our site for a week, maybe two. We'll see. Yeah. You got to go grab it. It will be limited. Right. I maybe. might get one. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, need a, I need a bit of room though. Oh, Lordy, um, we're not even saying anything. I'm, I'm saying it. I need. <laughs> we don't know how to respond. <laughs> she, well, maybe she, for Graham to be able to wear it too. Yes, yeah, exactly. yeah. Well, yeah, exactly that way Graham exactly can. What I meant. Yes, Graham can so wear the shirt. He <laughs> and I could share a T-shirt because he's too cheap to buy two. I mean, really. <laughs> there we go. It was a cheapness thing. <laughs> All right, hey, we're gonna we'll follow up your joke with one Jeff Pickering just Ooh, sent in in the comments. Wait. Oh, way to go, Thanks, Jeff. Jeff Pickering. It's a little edgy too, but it's okay. What did the egg say to the boiling water? <laughs> I don't know. It'll take me a while to get hard. I just got laid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this wow. is the chupacabra that yes. you guys sometimes hear. Yes, this is our. She's back. She, we had pics. We had her on a show, the Hakushu, yep, when Hakushu she was a 12. baby. We had his. Aww. He is no longer a baby. She's she adorable. Came, she came yeah. to see me, by the way. Yeah, She's on she my lap, loves actually. Bruno. Yep. Bruno yep. shows up, and she just like ar, 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 just freaks out. Don't he you? must have pizza in his pockets. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good girl. Beautiful. Mm, yeah. We got another five minutes. We, so. It, uh, a yeah, couple shout outs let her to plug her stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Whiskey Lassie. Tell everybody who you are, where to find you, yeah. Twitter, you're planning on doing YouTube reviews. What? YouTube reviews. Hmm. Up. Yeah, you could. With all I that like that idea. I like Canadian that pizza. idea. Hmm. 
I can get paid in Canadian pizza for whiskey reviews. I mean, Scotch test dummy reviews. I mean, um, so I'm Whiskey Lassie. Yes. And um, I can be found on Twitter at, at Whiskey Lassie. The, the whiskey part of Whiskey Lassie has no E, so it's Whiskey Lassie. Uh, and then I have a blog, which unfortunately I haven't written on in a little while because I've kind of been busy with the Canada C3 and going to Disney for some odd reason and wow. being on vacation and you know so I promise to get that back up and running shortly with a couple of some really great Canadian whiskey reviews um, what else what else can you find I have a, a Facebook page I guess but again I, I've just been sort of easing my way back into the whiskey world because I've been kind of away from it for a little while so cool. it'll be nice to get back up and running again you bet Awesome. Now, that that does remind me. I thought when you was coming in, you was going to Florida, you was also going to hit the Bourbon Trail a little bit. The Bourbon Trail is scheduled for September. Oh, okay. Mm. That wasn't During that. The, I was thinking it was the same trip. No, I think it's called the Kentucky Bourbon Trail Festival, maybe? Oh, you're going to the actual festival then. Yes. Yeah, because we know people that will go down and go on the trail and hit all little spots. But, they, yeah, they coordinate a big festival once a year, too. Yes, and I think that's when we're planning on going down. Graham and I are going down with a really good friend of ours, and uh, that's the plan at this point. That could change, of course. That's a good um, time to be down there, too, when it cools off a little bit. So, oh, it, the weather. I mean, we when we were in Florida, I don't know how you people do it, honestly. Like <laughs> 40, 42 degrees Celsius with uh, – we, we really here in Canada use something called um, – Oh, it's like the humidity level. It tells you what the humidity level is, so it only adds to a temperature. So even though it the the, the thermometer says, let's say, you know, a hundred Fahrenheit, when you add the humidity, it it's actually like a hundred yeah. and fifteen. Yeah, and so we call yeah, that, that the was wet bulb. Florida for a whole week. Wet bulb. We call that Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wet bulb is too high. It'll be no jump today. Oh. Oh my gosh. I mean, you feel like a sausage. You just sure. swell and you can't no. wear jewelry and you can't, it's just like, oh my God, how do you people do this? And we're watching people walking around in like three piece suits, right? And you're just oh. like, you guys are nuts. Yeah. They've, they've yeah. gotten acclimated. Now, one of my favorite pictures that you tweeted out and it's been a while, you and Graham was out sunbathing with eight feet of snow around Ooh. you. Oh yes. <laughs> You didn't know where yeah. I was going. Yeah, with that. she was like, like, "Where is this going? Where is this one going?" But you had on like a hat and your snow yep. boots, and yep. I think a t-shirt and shorts. But you're out that in was, like the lawn chairs, surrounded correct. by snow. Correct. That was two years ago. That was 2015, and we had the worst winter on record that I can remember from my all the way back to my childhood. We had uh, almost 20 feet of snow in our front yard. Wow. And it was about. 40 below when we took that particular picture and um, it, we kind of we had like three snowstorms in one week and schools were closed work you couldn't get to work because the snow plows just couldn't move the snow fast enough so that was our quote unquote Canadian excuse my language but fuck winter because we don't give a rat's ass and we got outside in our shorts and our you know wool socks and our boots and just drank our whiskey and was like, well, hell with this crap. So yeah, we're used to it. We survive. We survive winters. You get that much snow. You know what I do? I grab a blanket, start the fire, curl up with a peated whiskey, baby. Yep. Oh, we, don't sure we, see, have, we don't ever see 40 below. Glasses. Only with wind chill do we see 40 below. Yeah. yeah around here, winter comes and they go, it's, it's uh, two degrees. 40 below wind chill going on. The wind's blowing in Kansas. All right, we got to wrap it up. Yeah, we're Six, wrapping. wrapping it up. Getting ready to turn 645. Woo. So thank you, Joanne, Woo. for joining us. My pleasure. Love you, boys. Thanks thank to you, everybody for awesome. coming yes. in. Uh, love back to Canada. Yeah. I'm going to look real quick. Who is up next? Yeah, we got to look. And Who's looking. Okay. Who is up next? I don't know. We're going to see. Find I'm going to tell out. you here in a second. It's hopefully. loading. It's loading. He's looking. Maybe. When's Mark coming on? He's a little bit later. Okay. Beaver. We got the beaver. Oh, the beaver is on there. From Yay! Florida. Yeah, from Florida. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> the beaver is coming on. So that's a perfect Florida transition. All right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Boom. So, dummies. dummies. Boom, boom. <laughs> See you, Joanne. See ya.